We're located in Monteverde, Costa Rica in the rainforest of Bajo del Tigre where we are designing a rainwater collection system for the Educational Center's greenhouse. The Educational Center will be used by students and tourists of all ages. The rainwater system will provide water to the sprinkler system of the greenhouse using the Educational Center's roof as a catchment area for water in the wet season. On average, this area receives 380 millimeters of rain per month in the wet season and our roof has a catchment area of 63 meters squared. This means that we will receive 24,000 liters of water per month, which will be funneled down through the gutter into a 25-gallon flush tank and then into a 450-liter holding tank. The water will then be pumped through pipes along the side of the hill over towards the greenhouse, which will be used for two sinks as well as the sprinkler system. One sink will be located in between the classroom and the greenhouse and be gravity-fed. The second part of the system will be powered by a solar pump and will wrap around the greenhouse and then be integrated into the already existing Iowa water system to be used in the sprinklers. However, the second sink will not be integrated into the Iowa water system to avoid water contamination. Here we can see the already existing Iowa water system, which runs to one sink as well as up to the sprinkler system. There are already two shutoff valves for the sprinklers, which we will still use once the rainwater system is put in. Sprinklers run along the top side of the greenhouse. Here's the already existing sink which will not be changed once the rainwater system is implemented. Here we are implementing the rainwater system into the Iowa water system. First we need to make sure that we install a shutoff valve to shut off the Iowa water system. This is to ensure that there is no mixing or backflow between the two systems. To install the valve, the pipes need to be cut, sanded, and then glued. Once glued, the connecting joint needs to be held for between 10 to 15 seconds to ensure a lasting hold. This process is repeated anytime a new connecting joint or shutoff valve is implemented into the system. It's now integrated to the pre-existing setup with one shutoff valve for the eye system and one shutoff valve for the rainwater system. We've also installed the line for the greenhouse rainwater sink which will run up along the outside of the greenhouse and then in along Side the already existing Iowa water sink. Here's the line for the sink between the classroom and greenhouse, which will later be given a spigot. We'll now move into the holding tank and flush tank, which will be connected to a pipe that runs along to the gutter to fill the system. The pipe will need to be glued and securely fastened. Additionally, there will be a runoff valve so that the water does not fill into the tank and overload the system. This is a preliminary pipe already attached on the left hand of the screen. As you can see, the pipe has already been attached to both the holding tank and flush tank. The flush tank will have a bottom shutoff valve, which will empty the tank every three to four months. We will now get into the pump system, which will be connected along the side between the classroom and greenhouse. As you can see, we've already installed a preliminary hose that will be attached over here to be used with the pump. The pump will only be used for irrigation and the greenhouse sink. First, we need to attach a shutoff valve to ensure that the sink between the greenhouse and classroom is not using the pump. We will then attach two separate hoses to flow the water through the pump, then into the sprinkler system as well as the other sink. A pump like this is not often common for a rainwater system, but we need to increase the pressure to go to the sprinkler system as well as the other sink. We will install these two hoses using the same method that we used to install the rainwater system into the IO system. Later we will connect the pump onto the wall and then connect the hoses. Here's the final assembly of the system. We will now connect the solar panel to the roof which will power the battery which powers the pump below. We need to drill out the sides to be able to secure this firmly to the roof on the crest of each ridge. Here we have the control box which will have the charge controller with the wiring coming down from the solar panel on the roof down into the box which will have the battery as well as the charge controller with wiring going down to the pump below. Here you can see the wiring which will be attached to the control box. We need to attach this inside to the conduit which will be firmly attached into the wall control panel. The wiring will then run into the pump which we will connect later. We now return to the overflow system where we have connected the overflow pipe into a concrete tube. The tube will also receive the water from the shutoff valve on the flush tank. We then need to concrete the sides to prevent erosion. The tube will prevent erosion from coming over the side of the hill. We have now completed the system and can see that the whole system is complete with the solar panel, pump, 
as well as all the plumbing and holding tanks. We start from the roof and move down into two tanks where we have completed both the shutoffs, the overflow, and concrete around the sides. The plumbing is then buried in the trenches along the side of the hill, which will run to the greenhouse. The overflow pump will further be concreted at a future date to prevent erosion from this hill or causing erosion on the infrastructure of the building. The pump system will have an on and off switch, which you can see on the side of the bucket here. The system has been labeled and is now fully connected and ready to use. Here is the first sink, which has been given a spigot. Here we can see the line running along the outside of the greenhouse, down along here, buried under a trench, and then connected into the existing sprinkler system. Here we can see a completed system with the shutoff valve, as well as the existing system, which has its two own shutoff valves. Here's the IA pump, which connects to the already existing sink, which has not been touched, alongside the other sink, which has been given a spigot. Here you can see it working. During the wet season when the system is in use, the IA shutoff valve will be turned off and the rainwater shutoff valve will be turned on. Here we have the rainwater turned on and the sprinklers can now be used.